The 8th Mogami-class frigate in Japan was launched on November 14th. It was named Yubetsu after the Yubetsu River in Hokkaido. The frigate is expected to be completed next year, undergo outfitting and sea trials, and officially enter service. Yubetsu is the second Mogami-class frigate built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Marine Systems following Kumano. The other six frigates already launched were constructed at the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Nagasaki shipyard. Yubetsu, like Nyoto, which was launched in September, was equipped with Mark 41 vertical launch systems during its construction. The Japanese government plans to receive a total of 12 Mogami-class frigates by 2027. Currently, eight frigates have been launched, with four already in service. Initially, the government intended to acquire 22 frigates, but it decided to purchase 12 and have the remaining 10 replaced by a new version of the FFM frigate. At the 2023 Indo-Pacific International Maritime Expo, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries unveiled the regional air defense variant of the Mogami-class frigate. This variant is enlarged by 1,000 tons and has doubled the number of air defense missiles compared to the base Mogami-class. The new version of the Mogami-class has a displacement of approximately 4,880 tons and a full load displacement of 6,200 tons. It exceeds the tonnage of the 4,550-ton Murasane-class destroyer and the 4,650-ton Takanami-class destroyer, approaching the 5,000-ton range of the Akazuki-class destroyer. The new version of the Mogami-class is 142 meters long, can reach a top speed of 30 knots, and has good self-defense capabilities. It features a 127mm gun at the bow, two quadruple anti-ship missile launchers amidships, and an RIM-116 rolling airframe missile system above the hangar. According to the information released by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the main differences between the new version and the base Mogami class are in three aspects. First, the number of Mark 41 vertical launch systems has increased from two sets of eight to four sets of eight. Second, the superstructure on the bridge has been expanded, with a transition from a four-sided closed mast to an eight-sided closed mast to accommodate larger and more sophisticated radar arrays, potentially including an S-band radar in addition to the existing 4C plus 4X radar fixed array. Third, the hull has been further enlarged, with an increase in length of approximately 10 meters and a 1 meter increase in beam, resulting in a significantly larger amidships area. As a new version, the new Mogami class includes upgrades to ship systems. It may be equipped with an improved Type 12 anti-ship missile and new ship-to-air missiles. For example, the ASAM missile, a naval variant of the land-based Type 03 surface-to-air missile, is being developed and can be integrated into the Mark 41 system and installed on Mogami class and Akazuki class ships, providing similar long-range launch and guidance capabilities as the standard 6 missile. It is planned for production in 2024. In addition, the new Mogami class can launch Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile or the Japanese Type 07 anti-submarine missile. Apart from the SH-60 helicopters, the new Mogami class frigate's aft flight deck will also accommodate an unmanned aircraft. The ship will be equipped with a 360-degree optical surveillance system, upgraded sonar systems, and an increased level of automation. Despite the larger size of the vessel, the crew complement remains the same as the base Mogami class, with 90 personnel. The Japanese Ministry of Defense announced on August 31, 2023, that it has allocated a defense budget for the 2024 fiscal year, requesting 174.7 billion yen to procure two new versions of the Mogami class frigate. It has also decided to purchase two new versions of the Mogami class frigate each year for the next six years, starting in 2024. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was confirmed as the main contractor for the new version of the Mogami class frigate in August of this year. The plan is to produce a total of 12 frigates, with construction starting in 2027 after the completion of the Mogami class frigates. The production schedule spans nine years, with the first two ships being built at Mitsubishi Heavy Industries shipyards in Nagasaki and Tamano, starting in 2031. The remaining 10 ships will be built at a pace of two per year, completing the entire production process by 2036. 
The timeline provided by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries differs from the announcement by the Japanese Ministry of Defense, but it appears that Mitsubishi Heavy Industries' schedule is more realistic. For the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, the delay is not a major issue. According to the Defense Capability Plan released by the Japanese Ministry of Defense on December 16, 2022, the JMSDF plans to retire all of its Asajari class destroyers by 2027 and reassign the Murasan class and Takanami class destroyers from the mobile force to the regional forces as secondary vessels. This gap will be filled by the new version of the Mogami class frigate. This means that the combination of the new version of the Mogami class and the Mogami class will replace the Murasan class and Takanami class destroyers. With 12 new versions of the Mogami class and 12 Mogami class frigates, the JMSDF will be able to fully replace its destroyer fleet by 2036. In terms of performance, the new version of the Mogami class and the Mogami class are capable of handling most maritime threats. The Mogami class frigate does not have any particularly outstanding capabilities in surface warfare, considering its displacement of over 5,000 tons, the 16 vertical launch system cells are relatively few. As for stealth capabilities, the benefits for a surface vessel are not as significant as for aircraft and bombers. However, the Mogami class shines in its underwater capabilities. The United States has always hoped that the JMSDF would strengthen its mine countermeasure and anti-submarine capabilities to compensate for the shortcomings of the U.S. Navy in the region. At the same time, the JMSDF believes that the likelihood of large-scale conflicts between nations will gradually decrease and specialized mine countermeasure units will be downsized accordingly. Considering the need for island defense, mine countermeasures are definitely necessary. Therefore, other vessels need to fill the capability gap left by the downsizing of mine countermeasure units, and the Mogami-class frigate was designed with this idea in mind. It is equipped with the OQQ-11 anti-mine sonar and uses a combination of surface unmanned detectors to perform mine countermeasure tasks. The new version of the Mogami-class frigate focuses on air defense and has enhanced surface warfare and anti-submarine capabilities. In addition to the new version of the Mogami-class frigate, there are also significant developments in the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. It is planning to change its name to Air and Space Self-Defense Force, marking the first renaming of a Japanese military branch since World War II. Japan plans to rename the Japan Air Self-Defense Force to the Air and Space Self-Defense Force by 2027. This change has been anticipated for some time, as it was mentioned in the National Defense Strategy formulated by the Japanese government at the end of 2022. However, the specific timing of the name change was not specified. But on November 14th, the Japanese Defense Minister confirmed the name change, and Prime Minister Fumio Kishida also announced it during the recent JASDF parade. The purpose of the name change is actually quite simple. As the name suggests, it aims to strengthen the capabilities of the self-defense force in space operations. In recent years, the Japanese Ministry of Defense has been strengthening its military capabilities in the space domain. In May 2020, a space operations squadron was established at the Tokyo Futagawa Air Base to oversee the safe operation of Japanese satellites. In the latest fiscal year, the Japan Air Self-Defense Force also established a new unit at the Hofukita Air Base in Yamaguchi Prefecture to monitor satellite radio interference. If the renaming is realized, it would be the first time Japan has renamed a military branch since the establishment of the Self-Defense Force in 1954. However, it is important to note that the Japanese Ministry of Defense has not revealed many details regarding the focus areas and investments, the concept of the new unit, or the selection of hypothetical adversaries. What can be confirmed is that Japan aims to increase the military capabilities of its air self-defense force and enhance its capabilities in space and orbital domains. It is expected that the Japan Air and Space Self-Defense Force will develop advanced military satellites, including reconnaissance and missile defense warning satellites, and share collected space data with its allies. Additionally, it is possible that the Japan Air and Space Self-Defense Force will support other operational forces in executing missions, such as sharing intelligence with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, 
and utilizing the JMSDF's large Aegis warships to engage orbital targets. However, there is a question of whether Japan can execute space-level missions. Currently, Japan has several gaps in military technology and equipment, with long-range strike capabilities being a significant deficiency. Furthermore, it is uncertain if Japan's economic strength can support the upgrading of the air self-defense force. While Japan's defense spending has increased to 2% of GDP, meeting NATO standards, there are still significant areas that need to be addressed. Considering the current situation, the primary focus of the Japan Air and Space Self-Defense Forces mission is not to develop space military capabilities or engage in orbital satellite attacks. Instead, it primarily emphasizes intelligence gathering, frontier battlefield awareness, early ballistic missile warning, and satellite remote sensing for defensive purposes. Additionally, it can provide intelligence support to the stationed U.S. forces in Japan, acting as a bridgehead. With these considerations, the United States is likely to provide certain support to Japan, such as equipment acquisition and technical assistance. In September 2023, the U.S. Space Operations Commander publicly stated in Tokyo that the U.S. Space Force is expanding its presence in Japan and may establish a headquarters at the Yokota Air Base. As for the new version of the Mogami-class frigate, the construction difficulty is not significant. Its overall configuration is similar to the Mogami-class, with only minor differences, mainly due to the timing of their development. 